spotlight is my, 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 follow the rules of the street. Never, 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 never abandon the mission till it's full circle. Trying to build a team while you trying to unglue it. Yo, the spotlight is my, 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 Real talk, restart the revolution three. Um, we got a, this is the last battle. Last the, battle of the gauntlet on division. The gauntlet division, yeah. Um, on the right, we got wreckage. Critical. Critical. <laughs> 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 fucking wreckage cunt kind of dog. Yeah, Didn't show up. Indeed, show up for your fucking battles, cunts. This is happening freestyle because oh, they're going to do each other's rounds against each other because it's cool like that. But because opponents don't show up, so fuck you for not showing up. And. On the left, we got a Just guy a in a rap suit. <laughs> Just a game. Yeah. 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 Don't, worry, don't worry about showing up, J-Rex, man. Better luck next time. Shout out, shout out to um, Cold Fresh, DF Design, Subtle Studios, SMD Studios, um, and every other company behind us. Listen up, don't you worry about talk during the battle. MJ Picks too. MJ Picks. And Gil Goon. Because he's a bad guy. Not Gil Goon, just everyone else. Yeah, not Gil. We uh, did the coin toss. Radis the Rat won it, 45 so uh, about a minute on critical, let's go. <laughs> Alright, Wreckage didn't show up, so I'm versing the guy, his name's Just The Game. How's that? Well, if you want to play Just The Game, how about we play Mousetrap? <laughs> yeah! Because <laughs> I'll kill you, I'll fucking murder this bitch, put a curse on his kids, and I won't stop beating him until I'm hurting his ribs, he's worthless as shit. Wait till my other verses begin, and you won't want to say a word because you're just nervous, I'll flip and skips. I'll fucking stab you or slit your Achilles tendons, and when I said I'll murder you, can't I really meant it? I'm clearly sent with demons, thoughts is really tempted to use kill scare bitches, so I'll use your fear as incentive, it's clear I'm offended, but fuck it. Saying I'm homosexual, you're the only faggot here that chokes on genitals. I'm dope and ethical, you're just a joke that's terrible I'll body you for battle, leave you alone and hysterical Yo, I'm incredible, I'll cut you to the seventh dimension I'm so evil, I reach the pearly gates and I'm heaven guessing Asking questions, I'm not worried, but for you to mention stressing I'll murder with words and give this faggot a life-threatening sentence You're less important, you're just weird and extra awkward If you ask me to collab, I'd leave you hanging like a death by torture So I'll start off by cutting up your flesh and organs Cause I got tested and taught to kill by Dexter Morgan After I just met your missus and fucked her and there's a sex recording <laughs> Just a game, rap man. Yay! Critical's the type of guy you see on 60 Minutes every night. The weird kind of gets interviewed without a light. I like to name and shame, so I guess this is a must. Hispanic critical is a pedophile. Fuck. He preys on children. He loves them. Offers them a little candy and it's down to the dungeon. I thought there was something strange about you and I knew it. Critical's just an alias. This cunt is Al Stewart. <laughs> He's the type of man to hang around by his van with his hands down his pants looking for a little man to snatch and have his way with Do a little gay shit, he's fucked in the head, he thinks that he's famous He rides push bikes and he wanks over neighbours <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't mean neighbours I don't mean neighbours to show on channel 11 I mean his fucking neighbour is actually 11 <laughs> When he drops his girlfriend off to preschool when he's sitting in heaven he's listening to anything that he can get in his head and maybe memorize a line or a nursery rhyme it makes waking easier when it's that time but that's fine no judgment here i'm like god loves us equal so that's fucking cheers but i'm not done here so please open your ears apart from your mum and your sister you have to pay for sex you could fuck your girlfriend but that just doesn't make sense because you struggle to get hard when she's getting real wet and it's stripping down her legs then you realize that it's sweat <laughs> and it gets even worse and you see the hairs on her chest man your girlfriend's like your life just a fat fucking mess <laughs> So you're calling me a pedophile. Your rap's cute, but kids will come up to you because you're in the fucking rap suit. Hey, please. Alright, when you were... Your parents told me that when you were born it was unholy and revolting, so I'll kill your parents and leave you home alone like Macaulay Culkin. You're about as fresh as a salty dolphin, and for saying I'm gay and shit, you're about as fucked as Brie Olsen. I'll leave you jolting, you'll stutter and shit. Fuck this prick, I don't think he has any idea who he's fucking with. I'll cut this kid, this fucking cunt son of a bitch. You're like an ice user cunt, cause you're getting under my skin. Just a punk with a clip. But he thinks it's a cop. If that's a cop down there, it ain't big what you got. You're not smart instigating, so bitch you should stop. Cause if I was gay, I'd destroy this kid inside like I'm picking a lock. You're probably an inch when you're soft. 
and that really makes me laugh because that means you're probably three inches when you make it hard. You fake it hard, I'm killing bars and that's a sacred art, but if anyone's gay here, dude, yeah, you'd play the part. You aced it hard, but it's alright, thinking that rap man's fresh, but when the light shines down on you, you're in a fit just like an epileptic is. So check it, kid, your bars aren't just shit, now they're extra shit. And if you want to leave, let me show you where the exit is. Yeah. It's definite that you're going to lose. What you confuse, you better learn to bust a rhyme, or you better bust a move. This is something new? No, this is just the truth. In this world, there is no bitch, maggot, prick, faggot, cunt like you. Yay. All right. This dickhead is sick in the head and he's inbred. He thinks that he gets all the girls, but he gives heads to hobos that put out. So shout out to the train lines, because that's where this cunt is getting his battle rhymes. Yo, cunt's a harsh word, eh? When I say it, I mean it. This guy says cunt like he's just fucking preaching it. I met him before the battle and it was pretty blunt. I'm like, hey man, stop. He's like, yeah, I've had a cunt of a day and this cunt's in the way. I'm talking about you, cunt. You'll get a cunt punch to the cunt, cunt. I'm a fucking sick cunt, eh? Cunt, what you looking at, cunt? I was like, oh, this cunt's mad, eh? But I don't want to piss him off. He's already having a bad day. So let me make things easier for you over there. I'll tell everyone about the things that you're too afraid to share. Yo, your girlfriend is a fat slut and she is not hot. You give her everything that she does not want. Your mum is a fat slut, she sits on the couch eating bacon. Your sister's a fat slut, she sits there watching you wanking. <laughs> your, dad is a, your dad is a good bloke and he does not know any of this crap that goes on between you and your chode because in your home, your mum knows where your dick goes and it's right below her nose. In her mouth, you filthy prick. <laughs> and that's fucked, eh? That's not okay. You need some help or you've just ruined my day. You think you're normal, eh? Let me tell you that you're not, but that's your own problem if you think your mum's hot. Time. <laughs> So he's saying I think my mum and my sister's hot and I'm inbred. I don't fuck my mum and my sister. You're a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wreckage didn't show up, so I got told to battle this cunt, and I said, yeah, that's mad, bros. I looked you up on three different sites and couldn't find you anywhere. That's sad, son. I'll take your recognition away from you. You mad cunt? Well, it's actually not that hard seeing as you have none. To all the kids watching, this isn't the guy you want to be like. He seems nice, but sees guys. Sees ice now, speaks like a retard with dilated pupils. He can't see right. He thinks he's ill without manners because he's rude and feeling sick after two cones and three pipes, but this faggot will leave blind. Um... Oh no. Uh, you look cuter with a cruiser. You popped a beer, you're a loser. There's something that's been bothering me and why you're wearing a rat suit. It's probably because you're that fucking ugly and you don't want to see everyone saying that you're not that cute. Because you're saying that I couldn't get a girl and she's fat and she's ugly. But I bet you if you went into a party and said some bitch come fuck me, she'd be like, no cunt, what the fuck? I don't want to fuck a rat, I don't want diseases and shit like that. <laughs> like, what are you doing with the fucking costume and the hat? It's really something you should never do if you're trying to rap, if you're trying to battle and step on a stage. Fuck it, I'll just end it here. Time, have a good day. Don't ever tell me this guy is dope because he's not. Don't ever tell me he won this battle because he lost. See, I'm from a place where if you drop something, pick it up, and if someone stands in front of you, run them the fuck down. That's you, bro. You're like a stop sign at a roundabout. I'm going straight through. And then I'll make it without a doubt. Because if you got something in your head, then visualize and do it. And if you want it bad enough, then put your head to it. That's what your mum did, man. She put her head to it. She wanted it that bad, so I was like, just do it. <laughs> It didn't stop there. It didn't stop there though. Your sister came too, and then I came on your mum's face, and she was like, "Woo!" We had a little tea, spoke about politics. It was quite nice. I showed her my lyrics. She wasn't impressed. She said they're quite nice. Then I met your dad. It was awkward, but he was quite nice. And your girlfriend came along with a smile, and she was quite fat. She had a little dory on the side of her mouth, wearing com stained pants and shoes she just found. She was wearing a shirt saying sponsored by Centrelink. Ironically, she said that she just came from Centrelink. It was pretty entertaining when she told me about her life, giving blowjobs at the train station every second night. She was like, yeah, 10 bucks a pop, the blokes down there love me. That's when I thought I'd heard enough, honestly. But from man to man, I'll stand right here, understand that I wouldn't touch that slap with rubber gloves on my hands. Your battle lines are terrible, your bitch is fucked up, I don't know how you're still alive, you must have had enough. I don't support suicide, but maybe hide inside a while because the child will cry if they see your eyes and I just might feel like I didn't try and tell you to lie down and rethink your life, eh? I'm done with this battle, but please try that tonight, eh? Alright, oh, make some noise. Yeah. Yeah.
all fresh. Yo, uh, I'm going to give a shirt to who I thought did the best performance, which was LJ Mack. Come here, bro. LJ, appreciate it. It's been a um, The winner of this one was just a game. Right? Yeah. Shout out to Ratman and Fuck Wreckage. Uh, Maddie Scott again, fucking battle versus critical and that whack rat lad kind of guy. Um, fucking, I gave it to the rat lad. But let it be known, swinging your tail and standing on the tips of your toes is kind of faggotry, bro. Yeah, you know, that was a pretty close battle. I gave the first two to just the game, and the third one just because of the awesome flip. So the other guy, critical. Sweet. <laughs> As far as judging another goal of the battle, I'll give that one to just the game or aka Rat Fella. <laughs> you know, it's, I don't know, more consistent. So, yeah, done.